Germain Henry Hess was born in Geneva, Switzerland. In 1830, Hess took up chemistry full time, researching and teaching, and later became an adjunct professor of chemistry at the Saint Petersburg Academy of Sciences. He is known for his work in thermochemistry. Hess's law is also known as the Hess's law of constant heat summation. Hess's law, according to Hess, the total heat change delta H accompanying a chemical reaction is the same whether the reaction takes place in one or more steps. Or enthalpy change in a particular reaction is always constant and is independent of the path in which the reaction takes place. Suppose the enthalpy change for direct conversion A to B is delta H. B can also be prepared from A through intermediate C and D for which enthalpy change are delta H1, delta H2 and delta H3 respectively as shown. The above statements are called Hess's law of constant heat summation. Then according to Hess's law, delta H is equal to delta H1 plus delta H2 plus delta H3. The enthalpy of reaction is independent of the number and the nature of the intermediate steps. For example, the standard enthalpy change of the reaction C plus O2 gives CO2 is equal to minus 393.5 kJ per mole. This value can be determined with the help of a calorimeter. However, there are some reactions for which the direct measurement of enthalpy in the laboratory is not possible. For example, the standard enthalpy change of the reaction carbon plus half O2 gives CO cannot be determined with the help of a calorimeter because the combustion of carbon is incomplete unless an excess of oxygen is used. If the excess of oxygen is used, some of the carbon monoxide is oxidized to CO2. How can we then determine the enthalpy change for such reactions when direct measurement is not possible? Since delta H is a state function, it is not dependent on the way reactions are carried out. Let us carry out the reactions as follows. For the formation of CO2 directly, C plus O2 gives CO2, where delta H is equal to minus 393.5 kJ. CO2 can also be prepared as C plus half O2 gives CO, where delta H1 is equal to minus 110.5 kJ, and CO plus half O2 gives CO2, where delta H2 is equal to minus 283.0 kJ. Thus, total heat delta H is equal to delta H1 plus delta H2, which is minus 110.5 plus minus 283, which gives minus 393.5 kJ. Hence, it is clear from the above that delta H direct and delta H obtained indirectly are the same. It clearly indicates that when a chemical equation is added, subtracted, or multiplied, the heat changes can also be added, subtracted, or multiplied correspondingly. Applications of Hess's Law The application of Hess's Law are as follows. For the determination of enthalpies of formation of compounds, for the determination of enthalpies of extremely slow reactions, for the determination of enthalpies of the transformation of one allotropic form into another, for the determination of bond energies, for the determination of resonance energy. The result of Hess's law is that thermochemical equations can be added and subtracted just like algebraic equations to get the desired reaction. A useful practical application of this law is that we calculate enthalpy changes for the reactions which cannot be studied directly. That is all for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more engaging content only on Expified.